YouTube. What's up? It's your boy 360 Jeezy. And you all know who that is. That's Akira in the min in the background. I was going to say that's Akira Mink in the background. And I end up messing up. But we're going to keep it rolling. She's doing a dope mohawk. And I'm going to zoom in right here on this clean mohawk that she's doing. Don't as you to take credit for it either. As you can see, that I did an incredible job. <laughs> it's, a, it's an incredible job that I did. You know, I'm also on film and cutting hair at the same time. But in this video, I did a Ronnie Banks haircut, basically a taper fade with long hair at the top. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Right here in this area where Kara Mink is uh, pointing right here. Yes, yes indeed, indeed. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned. All right, YouTube, when it comes to this Ronnie Banks haircut, it's basically an undercut with a fade and a taper attached to it. So right now, I'm going to put my Diane Duck clips in to separate the top from the bottom. All right, so the first thing I want to do is take my two guard closed and knock off some of the bulk from the bottom. I'm not going all the way up. I'm treating this as my first guideline. So I'm going about not, I would say a little more than halfway. And I'm kind of, you know, not necessarily dropping it in the back, but I'm doing it to the shape of his head. You don't want to, you know, put everything, you know, on each client. You know, a fade on each client. You want to contour everything you do to fit the client's head. But basically, I'm dropping it just a tad bit to the shape of his head in the back, making sure that everything is even and uh, staying consistent with with the placement, the 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 guideline placement. Next thing you want to do is knock off the bulk from the top. So right now I got my three guard closed and I'm taking off all the bulk from the top. Right now you don't have to, you don't have to fade. This is just me taking the entire bulk, separating the top hairs from the, the bottom hairs and taking off all the bulk that you see. It's kind of sort of like an undercut. So keep that in mind when you're doing this cut. Right now I want to blend it a little bit better so right now I got my two guard open and I'm just you know fading it a little bit better from the uh, three guard closed and the two guard closed that I initially started with so uh, the two guard open is going to take out that that middle line. Alright moving along to the taper part of the haircut I'm going to start my first guy line off using the bald line with my Andes GTX. With this guy line, I'm basically starting it off in a rainbow-like shape so I can get that round look to it. Next guy line is the lever open and I'm going right on top of that, that first guy line in that same shape. All right, it's kind of a rainbow type of shape. Um, you guys don't have to do your tapers like this. I just think that it's going to be a better effect uh, on this type of haircut when when um, when I do this uh, final blend. All right, next guy line is the one guard open. And basically, I'm doing the same thing in that rainbow uh, shape using my corners. All right, make sure you pay attention to what corners you use because 
corners do make a difference now when you're doing this guideline it's gonna look like it's not completely a guideline it's gonna be hard to see but know that you're setting this in all right just play close attention and and visualize and look at what you're doing Next step, what you want to do is close that number one guard and try to lighten up that middle line, okay? It's not going to take it out, it's just going to soften it up a little bit. Alright, now that line is almost gone, you want to use your zero guard closed and take it completely out. Now what you're going to do in a flick out motion is just go to the line and flick out. It should come out with ease. Now with the lever closed, what you want to do is tack the uh, top line first, okay? Then go down to the bottom. You don't want to start with the bottom because you want to kind of keep the, the line uh, on his C cup as dark as possible. So start with the, the top line and just work your way down using your corners. All right, I can't stress it enough. The corners of the blade are important to use. Don't use the whole blade. To add another transition, I'm going to use the, the wall five star shavers just to bald out the middle. All right, I showed you guys how to taper on that side, so right now I'm gonna speed this process up because it's the same exact thing on this side. When it comes to the back, I'm going to bald out the back of the taper. Um, I'm going to bald it out so it's nice and straight. Um, then I'm going to come behind it using my wall five star shavers just to add another transition to the bottom. Then I'm going to start with the lever open, okay, and I'm going a little bit above an inch, okay. I'm going to go a little bit above the inch to add a lot of transition, okay. Then I slapped on the one guard open and doing the same thing going up a little bit more because his neck is is kind of long so you want to add a, 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 a greater transition right now I'm doing the flick out motion because from a from a two uh, guard that we used to the one you can easily flick it out and it'll be nothing right now I'm softening up that middle line using the lever closed and then I'm taking it out with the zero guard closed Right now, got the lever closed and just knocking out that bottom line. And that's how you do the taper. That's the steps that I use. I did it on the side taper and it works on the back.
YouTube, this is the cut and if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button I got more videos coming out almost nearly every other day I got a video coming out so if you like these haircut tutorials I got more in store it's your boy 360 Jeezy and I'm out of here Cheers.